it was difficult for soldiers to carry grenade launchers and guns at the same time. Carrying only a grenade launcher makes it difficult to defend yourself. Grenade is a long-range weapon, so if the enemy attacked from close, your allies had to help. To overcome these shortcomings, a grenade launcher was created that also serve as a gun. The M203 grenade launcher is attached under the barrel of the rifle. Press the lock and slide the barrel forward. Insert the grenade and pull the barrel back. Pulling the trigger causes a firing pin to ignite the primer. The M203 has flaws in that it cannot use special grenades of long length as it uses slide method. This is M320 grenade launcher. Because the barrel moves sideways, even long special grenades can be loaded. The M203 could only be fired if the rifle had a magazine in it. But the M320 has a grip, so it can be fired without a magazine. It has a front folding grip, so it can be fired off the rifle. It can be used as a standalone grenade launcher also, when attaching a shoulder stock to it. The shoulder strap is adjustable in length. The rear side of the M320 can aim from 50 to 350 meters in 50 meter increments. 40 mm grenades are used as high explosives, dual purpose grenades, air explosives, smoke grenades and many more. High explosives are designed to explode on the ground and inflict casualties. Explosives consist of a mixture of RDX and TNT, detonating over 300 fragments. The killing radius is about 5 meters. The high explosive, dual purpose, contains a small shape charge and can penetrate up to 5 centimeters of armor. Air bursts are fired using an electronic time module. It explodes in the air and a lot of balls blast out with the explosion. It can attack enemies hiding behind trenches or cover. There are also aerial bombs that use radio waves. When a radio wave is emitted from an external antenna, the grenade receives the radio wave and calculates the distance automatically. This grenade contains a dual purpose and can pierce concrete and strike enemies behind it. Because real-time distance measurement is possible, it can even attack drones. The buckshot contains 20 metal spheres. It is made for shooters' defense and is used to attack enemies from a short distance. There are also grenades used for reconnaissance. When grenade is fired, parachute unfolds as the bomb falls, and the built-in camera transmits images of the surrounding area. There are also grenades that can be launched like drones. You can check what's going on in the battlefield through a video using drone. In addition, it is used as smoke grenade, flare grenade, and tear gas grenade. This is a M32 grenade launcher. It uses a revolver method that fires six grenades while rotating. The shoulder strap can be adjusted in length and angle, so it is possible to make stable shooting without changing the shooting posture. The side is adjustable from 0 to 375 meters in 25 meter increments. The scope has a crosshair in the area, where grenades will be projected from, as used to determine the scope. Pull the lever on the front and turn the handle, to open the cylindrical magazine. By turning the cylinder counterclockwise, the center spring is wound. The cylinder is rotated by the force of a spring. Put the grenade into empty chambers and close the frame by turning the knob. When the trigger is pulled, a firing pin ignites the primer and grenade is fired. There is a gas piston above the cylinder. When the grenade is fired, the force of the gas causes the piston to rise momentarily. When the piston rises and lifts the catch release, the holded pin is released, and the cylinder rotates. The gas piston and locking mechanism come down and stop rotating when the pin engages the locking mechanism. When all the grenades are fired, the chamber is opened, and the shell is extracted. When the select lever is set to S, the safety lever will interfere with the operation of the firing pin. When the select lever is set to F, the hole in the safety lever is opened, and the firing pin is operated. When it comes to grenade launchers, it is usually a single-shot launcher such as the M79 or a launcher that mounts under a rifle, such as the M203. The grenade used for these single-shot launchers is low-velocity grenade with low speed and short range. On the other hand, there are weapons that fire many grenades in a row, like a machine gun does, and this type of grenade launder is called an automatic grenade launcher. An automatic grenade launcher uses high-velocity grenades with high firing speed. So the range is long, and the killing radius is wide. In the next video, we will learn about automatic grenade launchers.